morning students so in our last class i have explained already about the chemical equations and chemical reactions okay chemical reaction means when two substances combine to form a new product is a chemical reaction okay so here different examples i have given digestion is a chemical reaction respiration is a chemical reaction burning of a crackers so these all come under the chemical reactions okay so again uh, uh, physical change and uh, chemical change means uh, if there is uh, a change in only the order or color or smell then we can say it is a physical change okay if uh, there is no means if uh, there is there will be change in uh, the chemical composition means that is a chemical change i, I have given already so i have explained already that those okay means physical changes boiling melting mm, and uh, this evaporation this all come under physical changes chemical changes means burning of crackers uh, milk turns into curd okay digestion photosynthesis so these all come under chemical changes okay the next one what is the chemical uh, equation so next type is what is the chemical equation chemical equation means look chemical equation chemical equation means the symbolic notation of a chemical reaction so it is a symbolic notation of a chemical reaction symbolic notation of a chemical reaction that is a chemical equation means if a chemical reaction is expressed in symbols and formula then it is said to be a chemical reaction chemical equation okay for example sulfur burns in oxygen to form sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide this one is a chemical reaction now we are writing this chemical reaction using symbols and formula so sulfur as oxygen o2 to rise so this one is a chemical equation so this one uh, is represented by the symbolic notation so this can be a chemical equation now a chemical equation can be balanced or unbalanced okay balanced or unbalanced here balanced means the chemical equation uh, in ke any chemical equation the number of atoms of the reactants means left side elements and right side elements are same okay here see the sulfur and oxygen these are called the reactants so in a chemical reaction the elements present to the left side are called reactants 
and the elements present at the right side are called products. Means the number of atoms of reactants and products should be same. Then we can say that the equation is a balanced chemical equation. Otherwise, it is a unbalanced equation. Okay, understood. So, chemical equation can be balanced or unbalanced. So, chemical equation. So, this one is. Balanced chemical equation and unbalanced chemical equation. Balanced means uh, number of atoms of different elements on the reactants. Okay, means number of atoms. of reactants is equal to number of atoms of products means number of atoms of uh, the different elements present in reactant side and present in the product side will be same then we can say it is a balanced chemical equation if these are not equal then that is unbalanced equation okay means not equal here or not same Means if an equation don't have the same number of atoms on both sides, means reactant side left side, product side right side, then that equation is the unbalanced equation or skeleton equation, another name skeleton. Okay, skeleton equation or unbalanced equation. So, how can we balance a chemical equation? We will learn now. Balance the following for example first one now how can we balance the chemical equations first one is NaOH sodium hydroxide sulfuric acid combine to form Sodium sulfate plus water. Okay. Now whether it is balanced or unbalanced, we have to check. Okay. To find out that one, first LHS and RHS. Here element. First write what are the elements present in the equation. See what are the elements present in the equation. Sodium is there. Oxygen is there. Hydrogen is there. 
ओके एंड सल्फर इज दैट सो राइट द एलिमेंट्स सोडियम ऑक्सीजन हाइड्रोजन सो दीज आर द एलिमेंट डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स प्रेजेंट इन द इक्वेशन Now write uh, the number of elements, number of atoms in left hand side and right hand side of each atom. Okay. So write sodium only one atom is there left hand side. Right side two atoms are there. Oxygen only one atom is there. One plus four. Here one is there and four. Totally five are there. And right side here four and one five are. There. And next uh, hydrogen atoms left side uh, one and two three are there. Right side uh, only two are. There. Sulfur only one is there. Right side also one is there. See, we can identify here. Uh, this is this is not a balanced equation But because the different uh, atoms are there, not same. The atoms are not same on the both sides. So how can we balance this? Uh, means. Uh, Left hand side only one sodium is there, but right hand side two are there. To make it two, left side with two, take two sodium atoms means it will be balanced. Okay. To make it equal, left side we uh, we 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 have to take uh, two before uh, sodium atom. Next, okay. If you take here two means. Total two sodium atoms and two oxygen atoms and two hydrogen atoms. Now hydrogen number will differ. Okay, if you take two means here two plus two, totally four hydrogen atoms are there. Okay, so then see how it will be shown here. Two NaOH plus H2SO. Now two sodium atoms are there, and two oxygen atoms are there, and two hydrogen atoms are there. So total hydrogen atoms are here. Here, two plus two, four. Totally four hydrogen atoms are there. But the right side only two are there. So to make it uh, four, before hydrogen, you have to take two. Okay, then two twos are four. Totally four hydrogens we will get. Clear? That's all. So Na2SO4 now check all the atoms. See sodium two. Oxygen two plus here four six here four plus two six and next uh, hydrogen here two plus two four and right side uh, two two's four four hydrogens sulfur one is there. Now it is a balanced chemical equation. Clear? 
okay so that is the method of uh, writing the uh, method of balancing the chemical equation okay so i'll explain the uh, remaining examples in the next class okay thank you